Welcome back. I'm your host, Ron DeCourt. In this chapter of Watchmaking Lays, we'll focus on tool geometry and free turning with the cross slide. One of the most important aspects of any turning work, together with a well-adjusted lathe, is a properly faceted cutting tool. Two intersecting facets are required to form a cutting edge. Five degree rake angles on the top and leading facet give an 80 degree included angle cutting edge, which is a good place to start and can be modified for different materials and conditions. Free turning without side pressure on the part is of paramount importance when micro turning. And keep in mind that the depth of cut is micro small, one tenth to one one hundredth millimeter. In other words, it's the very tip of the cutting tool that must be sharp and straight. Ideally, the cutting edge should be set at 90 degrees neutral to the lathe's center line. But if you're turning into a larger face, it's good practice to offset the tool a degree or two in order to have clearance at the tool tip. This also increases positive cutting pressure. Rotating the cutting edge to a negative position pushes the work away and although effective for roughing, is not suitable for small diameter turning. As your work diameter gets smaller, the work will either ride over the tool if adjusted below the center line or under it if too high. Adjust the cutting edge to the center line of the work by short chucking a test piece and facing the end until the tit in the center just disappears or is whisker small. A tad low is better than tad high. Other than tool geometry, the most misunderstood aspects of micro turning with a watchmaker's lathe are spindle speed and feed rate. This is not a CNC machine. Contrary to popular belief, Slow is good when it comes to spindle speed. If your tool doesn't seem to be cutting properly, try slowing down. When it comes to feed rate, keep your chips clean and consistent. This practice example is turned without a stabilizing center at the tailstock end to emphasize the free cutting geometry of the cutting tool. When you feel comfortable with this project, it's time to move on to more challenging projects. This 5mm balance staff is an approximation of what you might find in a pocket watch. An often overlooked detail when working with collets is to keep them clean. You'd be surprised how much swarf builds up inside. Keeping the workpiece clean is just as important and don't forget to clean the spindle bore frequently. Stabilizing and truing up the workpiece is necessary on occasion, especially when making lateral cuts and undercutting. Having a collection of centers which can be modified to suit the job 
is advisable and easily made using air hardening steel. Thanks for the visit. See you next time.